Hi, I'm Dr. Chan. Today I'm going to talk about three things that chair seats are not that everyone should know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Chan. I'm a medical doctor from Singapore. Many people call me the Habits Doctor because of my passion and work in activating and helping people unlock the power of lifestyle and eating habits for health. In my medical practice where I do a lot of work in teaching and coaching people to make the necessary lifestyle habits changes to better control and combat lifestyle and diet related chronic conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. I see many of my patients taking chair seats regularly. And when I ask them why, they would tell me that they were taking chair seats to help improve the control of their medical conditions or for better health in general. But what struck me the most about these patients was that it seemed taking chair seats was the only thing that they do consistently. And that they are more conscious about taking chair seats than they are about making changes to their dietary habits that they know are necessary to better control and combat their diabetes, high blood pressure or whatever medical conditions that they may have. It was almost as if taking chair seats had given them misplaced confidence or had become an excuse for them for not tackling the aspects of the diets that needed changing or improving. This is what inspired me to make this video. So let's dive straight into the topic of this video. Three things that chair seats are not that everyone should know. But before that, let's do something. Let's add chair seats into these foods in front of me. Can you say it or fried noodles? Let's put some chair seats into it. Yeah? What happens to this char kway teow, right when we put chia seeds into it? What would this char kway teow become? This is a bowl of instant noodles, ordinary instant noodles. Let's put some chia seeds into it. Yeah, let's put some chia seeds into it. What do you think would happen? This is a bowl of sugar laden cereals, the typical breakfast cereals, but full of sugar. Right, but let's just put some chia seeds into it. Put more. Okay, let's put lots and lots of chia seeds, chia seeds into it. What do you think will happen? Do you know the amount of sugar in most sugar sweetened beverages? Even the healthier choice lower sugar sweetened beverages have two teaspoons of sugar, two to three teaspoons of sugar in them. And many sweetened beverages have up to eight teaspoons of sugar in them, about 30 to 40 grams of sugar. Yeah? So if this is the typical high sugar sweetened beverage, what do you think would happen when we put chia seeds into it? Lots of chia seeds. Right, let's add two teaspoons or more of chia seeds into it. What do you think would happen to this high sugar beverage when we put chia seeds into it? What just happened? What do you think? What happened when I added chia seeds into all these foods in front of me? My answer, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing happened. This bowl of nutrient poor instant noodles is still a bowl of nutrient poor instant noodles after adding chia seeds into it because chia seeds are not some kind of magic dust that one can sprinkle onto nutrient poor foods and magically turn them into nutritious superstars because chia seeds are not magic dust secondly chia seeds are not magic erasers we cannot expect to be able to transform obviously unhealthy foods into healthier choices just by adding chia seeds into them Take this char kway teow for example. For those of you watching who do not know what char kway teow or chao kway teow is, it is a fried flat rice noodles dish popular and very well loved in Singapore and many parts of Asia. But it is also generally widely recognized as being quite unhealthy. Sprinkling chia seeds into it would not magically erase away the many unhealthy components of this dish. Or this high sugar sweetened drink or this sugar laden cereal adding chia seeds into them would not make the sugar disappear because chia seeds are not some kind of magic erasers. As the interest in and popularity of chia seeds grow, we are beginning to see chia seeds added to more and more food products. When we go to the supermarkets, we can now find chia seeds added to not just health foods, but increasingly we are also seeing chia seeds added to all kinds of food products, including sugar laden and healthy or highly processed food products. So when you are buying stuff from supermarkets, don't be impressed or distracted by the halo of chia seeds inside labels. Before you buy anything, look at the whole ingredients listing. Because chia seeds are not some kind of magic dust, adding chia seeds will not magically transform nutrient poor food products into nutritious superstars. And chia seeds are also not magic erasers. 
adding chia seeds will not magically erase away the sugar or any other unhealthy ingredients in any food products. But don't get me wrong, I'm not against taking chia seeds. I take them myself. I always have a bottle of chia seeds in my pantry and I do use chia seeds in my cooking and beverages. But as much as there are many health benefits to taking chia seeds, it does not in any way take away the need to learn and practice eating habits that are critical in preventing, controlling, and combating diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease. Because the third thing that chia seeds are not that I would want to highlight is that even with all the various potential health benefits of taking chia seeds regularly, chia seeds are not some kind of magic pills. People with chronic lifestyle and diet-related diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease cannot expect to take away the need to make the critical changes and improvements to their eating habits necessary to better control and combat their conditions just by adding chia seeds into the diet or buying food products with chia seeds inside. Chia seeds are not magic pills. So these are the three things that chia seeds are not that I want everyone to know. As I said earlier, I'm not saying that there are no health benefits to taking chia seeds. I do enjoy adding chia seeds into my food, into my drinks. I just want to highlight, whilst chia seeds may be nutrient dense, and can be a useful healthy addition to our food and beverages as part of a healthy eating habit. Taking chia seeds alone should not become a license to continue to eat badly. Chia seeds are not some kind of magic dust. They do not make nutrient poor foods nutritious. And chia seeds are also not some kind of magic erasers. They do not make the unhealthy components of foods disappear. Lastly, chia seeds are not some kind of magic pills. They do not replace or reduce the need to make the changes and improvements to our eating habits necessary to prevent, control, and combat diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease, and other common lifestyle and eating habits related chronic conditions. I hope you have found this video useful. I'm Dr. Chan. Thank you for watching. Let's unlock the power of habits. One video, one habit, one dose at a time. Take care and have a blessed day.